Aaron Black. I'm a fisheries research biologist with Idaho Fish and Game. And today we're gonna go over how to take a sample for the Kootenai River Angler Science Program. So after you catch a burbot out on the Kootenai River, there's a couple of different things we're asking anglers to help us with to keep a better tab on the fishery. So one thing is we're gonna ask that you take a length. We provide the tape measures in the creel packets. So we're doing total length, so from the tip of the nose all the way down to the bottom of the tail. So this fish here is coming in at 30.5 inches. So after we get a measurement, we'll go ahead and take a fin clip. So we're taking a fin clip from the front of the second dorsal fin, and it's just a tiny little fin clip. And that fin clip's then gonna go sandwiched between this paper inside the envelope. Try to flatten it out as best you can. And that's gonna get stuffed right back into the envelope. And from there, we're gonna take note of any tags that we can visually see on the burbot. So this one has an exploitation tag with the number 23-10228. And so once we get all that information, if we're gonna harvest that fish, we can go ahead and keep it or let it go into the river. So as you go through an evening fishing for burbot and you're filling out your genetic sample cards, make sure at the end of your fishing trip that you complete your logbook for that day's hours spent fishing. And then also before turning in the creel packets, the contact card needs to be completely filled out so you can be entered and eligible for the raffle prizes at the end of the season. And if you do happen to catch a fish that has the orange exploitation tags on the fish's back. We had include data sheets to record that information to submit those tags with the packets as well. And everything we've covered here today is inside the pamphlet that we include in the packet as well as my contact information if you have any questions or concerns about the Burbot fishery or Kootenai River in general.